Welcome back, everybody. This is Roy McQueen from NC Tech Lutions, and welcome to the hybrid mobile app development tutorial series. Now, a hybrid app is a web application built with web technologies, you know, such as HTML, JavaScript, CSS. That is then wrapped in native device code to extend the functionality and availability of the app. Now, in this series, we're going to cover using PhoneGap and jQuery Mobile to develop hybrid mobile apps for all platforms. The examples that you're going to see in these videos are going to be based on the Android platform, but the code can also be reused for the iPhone, Windows, and the Blackberry. Now, we should all know by now that when developing a mobile app natively, it allows you the greatest flexibility and performance. The problem arises when you want to move an app from one platform to another then suddenly you have to write the app over nearly from scratch in whatever native language the platform that you're trying to target. So this is where PhoneGap comes in. This helps you write less code across multiple platforms. But don't get this confused with a web app. Although we will be using HTML and JavaScript to build it, using PhoneGap allows us to still have access to the native features, something you can't do with just a simple web app. So let's jump right in. First off, we need to set up our development environment. You need to have the latest JDK, Java JDK installed and a Java environment variable set up. If not, then go back and watch this video in the link below. Now you want to go here and make sure you have node.js installed. After that's finished, uh, download and follow the instructions to install the ADT bundle. After that's done downloading, you just want to drag that to your desktop and extract it and also rename it to ADT Bundle. Now this will give you everything you need to uh, create Android apps. Then next, download Ant from this site right here and once you download this, just drag this also to your desktop. You want to also extract that to your desktop too. Now drag both newly extracted folders to your C drive. Next inside the ADT bundle inside the Eclipse folder, run Eclipse EXE and you should be prompt to a SDK manager as soon as that loads up. If not inside the Eclipse program, just go up to Windows and select SDK Manager. The next thing we need to do here is we need to download the build tools and the latest Android API and also the APIs that we're going to target. And just a quick note right here, once you start your downloads, uh, you can go back and uncheck what you don't want to download. Uh, we'll just go with one of the build tools right here and you can install or you can just install all of them Now after that's done we need to create a Android home and an ant home environment variable by this point you should already have the Java home variable created so go to the home directory for the ADT bundle and copy its location And you also want to do the same inside the ant home directory. Uh, copy the location there also.
Now inside the system path, we need to add these locations. Next in our C drive, we create a folder called Android Apps. Okay, now we can install PhoneGap. So open the command line and run this first command. Now I already have mine installed, but once you run this command, it will automatically download PhoneGap and install it. Now after everything is done installing, Close the command line, then reopen it, and navigate to the Android Apps folder that we created earlier. Then now we want to create an app with PhoneGap by running this command. Now this will create the folder structure that we need. Navigate here and run this command and this will compile and build Now at this point if you go and look back at your Android apps folder you'll see you have all the necessary files to run an Android app uh, Now the next thing we have to do is import this inside Eclipse So let's go ahead and create a shortcut. And then once it's open, let's import the Hello World project that was located inside the platform folder. Then we can make sure the project is being built with the latest API. Now just go to Windows Android Virtual Device Manager slash device def definitions and select any device press create AVD and you can change the name if you want to now this is going to take a while to load but after the device is loaded we can now run the hello world app So just a word of advice here guys, if you're really serious about developing, I suggest you use a real device. So go ahead and download whatever drivers you need and launch these examples on a real physical device because the, the virtual device is too slow. Okay there you go, so there you have it, a quick installation of PhoneGap. Now in the next tutorials, we will build onto this, so see you then.